for the completely unnecessary Let's Play, will it be mostly NES slash older games, or will modern games be played as well? Well, I mean, really, that comes down to, obviously, Pat and I to decide as things go on. Um, it's been fun to start out with some older games, and uh, without giving away any of the ones that Pat and I have, have done recently, it's been fun to play some really out-there ones. <laughs> some of them have been absolutely fucking miserable. Uh, We've so far played, we'll say we did one round of NES games, one round of PC Engine slash Turbo games. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll get some fun out of that. Um, I would like to, you know, get to sit down with Pat and play some more modern games. Um, but we'll have to see where it goes. I think right now we need to play games that are on the shorter side or potentially beatable. I don't know that Pat or I... Now, Pat can disagree with me, and that would be cool. Um, but I, I, I don't know that you're ever going to see Pat and I sit down and do something like a, a Skyrim playthrough because it's just going to be... I mean, where would we cut off that Let's Play? Yeah. I don't see Pat and I taking a month to play through something like Skyrim. Now, if it's an action game or Pat and I are playing a few rounds of a modern fighting game or wrestling game, I, that's something yeah. that's absolutely you know feasible I, that's totally something or a modern indie game sure so like in terms of modern like that if it's like you know round based like i said a fighting game or or something like that or a sports game even yes you, you will probably see some modern stuff like that i don't think you're going to see us playing through any epic adventure games but who knows i don't think something like legend of zelda will be out of the question something that takes like two hours no like it'd be fun or zelda 2 yeah and one person can help with the map or whatever uh, but yeah, but we're not going to do a 20-hour game. No. I see, see, see some Let's Play series with, like, part 57. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> uh, unless it's a very particular game, or I don't know. I don't. I just don't see that happening. I, it just seems like I don't want to be next to Ian that long at one time. No. You know, uh, but, <laughs> but I will say this, though, uh, about it, is that we have to stick with older games because that's the audience on YouTube. Yes. You know, so we, we can't just become... Even though it'd probably be a lot better if we became Minecraft players, you know... Or, that's just not the channel. That's not, that's not our interest. Uh, in terms of people calling, oh, uh, Pat, you're a Let's Play now. You're being a hypocrite because you, you hate Let's Plays. Listen. Listen good. I never said I would never, ever do Let's Plays because what do you think the NES Marathon is, first of all? That's technically a 30-hour a, a Let's Play we do every year. Yeah. Well, it is for charity. It's a Let's Play. Um, I just always said they don't take a lot of uh, talent to do, which they really don't. You, you're playing games and having fun and making quips. You know, I mean, so that's what I meant by that. And and plus, this isn't a Let's Play channel, and I've been doing this for eight years before even doing a Let's Play video. So, if you're saying I'm being hypocritical, fine, run with it, the past being a hypocrite. If that's what you want to hang your hat on, that's weak. I think I built up enough equity without feeling defensive with eight years of NES Punk videos, Flea Market Madness, uh, even Ask Frank. I ask Ian if you, look, if you get the DVD exclusives. Um, there's only like two episodes I edited, I think. Um, there's only one out there. Oh, I think you did. I think you threw one up online once. Yeah, find find those out if you're on my Patreon. You can see if ask Ian from way back. Um, and things like that, and the podcast that I should be allowed, and a, a fucking book that took three years. I should be allowed to do something that's, we'll just say, lazier than the other content I've been putting out for almost 10 years. I think I'm entitled to it at this point. I think I built up the equity to it. So if you're going to call me a hypocrite, call me a hypocrite, but I'm still working working hard. All, so. all I'd say about it is I still don't necessarily understand them. I realize that there's a <laughs> market for it. Um, I think it's fun uh, in, a, in a way. I, I, I need to... I don't necessarily think I'm, uh, you know, hilarious. But what I do think is fun is uh, what I think the best thing about the Let's Play is, and I'm dead serious when I say this, I agreed to do the Let's Play because it's a reason for Pat to sit on his fucking ass and play a fucking video game. So if it gets Pat to sit down and play video games... <laughs> Not uh, for the book. If it gets Pat, not to, for a video. Yeah, if it gets Pat to just play some video for games, actual fun, for fun, then I'm okay with doing it. So it's actually Ian's doing it for my therapeutic. Uh, aspect. I, I, I'm trying to do it as a friend so he can okay. fucking cool All right. off. I didn't even think about that because you're actually right. Because I need to actually play games for actual just fun and fun alone. But if we happen to actually record at the same time, 
Why not? The recording and is you can secondary. See, you are seeing my therapy uh, sessions <laughs> out there. That makes perfect sense. That's how I'm going to frame it going forward. I'm, I'm, I'm actually well, serious. That's how I That's how I was like, wow. okay, I'm doing this. Ian's doing it so I don't go insane more. Uh, what do you think about people, the, the, the love hate it with the intro? Uh, real quick. I like the intro. I mean, it's... We're, we're, we're doing a Let's Play, dude. Someone said that you're alienating Let's Play fans because you're making fun of people that like Let's Play by doing that intro. I'm like, wow, you're really analyzing that that's, way that's, so much. That's reading way too deep into it. Like, if you've seen the Ask Frank intros with the Flea Market Man, is I like goofy-ass shit. Don't you realize that? We just spoke in horrible, spooky voices for the intro of the podcast. Well, half the people that watch this don't watch uh, well, it. Download the audio version on Podbean, Stitcher, or iTunes. While you're <laughs> we're so done. Anyway, so we're gonna stick with probably more uh, retro stuff, unless there's a modern retro style game we want to get into. I, I would, like that. I said, I would really love to do some re uh, wrestling games or some fighting games someday, but it, it probably will be more more retro than modern.